welcome back everyone so in this video i will be guiding you how to safely clean your c drive and make it from this to this so you might be also running out of the storage where you can have the multiple issues like you won't be able to store anything on your drive you will not be able to install any kind of application or software and you will have the slow performance but no worries let's free up the space by deleting all kind of garbages from your device that exactly you don't need all right so now on my end you can see i have a disk here that contains 57 gigabyte of free space out of 476 gigabyte and let's see how much space i would be able to free up here from my local disk c okay so remember this number and now next and the very first thing that you have to do you need to click on your windows search type here disk and from the suggestion you will have to click on disk cleanup now it will be calculating the space and list you all this information here and at the very top you can read here it says you can use disk cleanup to free up to 27.9 gigabyte of disk space on the c drive so on my computer it shows me an average that somewhere around 28 gigabyte i can free from my c drive now this number can be less or more on your end and below you can see all kind of file all kind of categories and these all categories are basically the temporary and the cache file so you don't have to worry as it will not be affecting your system file or any of the operating or any of your data file so you can check all of them like direct x shader cache temporary internet file delivery optimization file recycle bin and you can see my recycle bin takes around 20.9 gigabyte then we have the temporary file that is occupying around 6.84 gigabyte and that's a huge so i will select it and click on ok then it says are you sure you want to permanently delete this file now also make sure before clearing the recycle bin file assure yourself that you don't need all these files that you have deleted and move to the recycle bin you can recheck it if you want to and then finally you have to click on delete file and now depending that how much space need to be cleaned out it may take some time so you will have to wait until it's all been done okay so once it get all deleted now it may take some time guys so you have to keep some patience because i have seen that sometime it goes around 20 uh, 15 to 20 minutes so you will have to wait okay okay so once the disk cleanup is being completed now next what you have to do right click on the windows icon click on settings from the left hand menu option here you will have to click on apps then click on installed apps and this will list all kind of application and all kind of software that has been installed on your device now why i'm recommending you this method because many times it happened that you have installed many kind of application you use that for a while but now you don't need it but you forgot to uninstall it but still it's taking a lot of space in your drive so it's better to go ahead and clean them okay so just have a look here and whichever you don't need you can click on the three dot at the right of it and click uninstall now make sure once you click on uninstall this may not remove the application completely from your drive now for that i have already created a video that how you can completely remove any application or software or game from your device you can watch that video if you want to completely get rid of it and so on you can have a look here for all the other application whichever you don't need just go ahead click on the three dot and uninstall from here make it neat and clean so that you should have the enough space with the low problems so once you're done next from the left hand menu option only you will have to click on system then you have to click on storage now this is another amazing feature of windows where you can view what kind of space is being occupied by what kind of categories here so on my end you can see the maximum space is being occupied by the document and it is taking around 174 gigabyte of space now if you're not sure what exactly it contain then you have to click on document click on view document and it will list you all kind of folder all kind of file that is occupying the maximum storage and here additionally what you can do if you want to know that what exactly is taking the maximum space here you can simply make a right click on it click on properties and here you can see that it shows you that what kind of space it's occupying this particular folder and my virtual machine is taking around 174 gigabyte now once i know which folder is exactly taking the maximum space i can bring up that folder i can look over here in the machine and whichever virtual machine i don't need 
I can go ahead and delete them. All right, and so on. Again, I will come back and look over other folder here. Whichever application or folder I don't need, I will go ahead and delete them. And once I'm done with this step, again, I can close it. I can go back in the settings and look over the another section here that is the installed app that we have already done. Other. So let's click on other and see what it contain. So it shows me the right game contain around 49.8 gigabyte. So if I'm using the right games and playing the right games uh, like Valorant, I don't have to delete them. But if I'm not using it anymore, then I can go ahead and delete them. Then we have the LD player that is an emulator and it's taking around 5.6 gigabytes. So that's okay if I'm using it. But if I'm not using it again, you have to go ahead and delete them. Next, we have the video section and then we have the temporary file. So again, I can click on temporary file here and it will let you know that what it all contain like the temporary file is around 4 gigabyte. Then you have the download section. Now my download section contain many important files. So I will not be deleting as of now. So if you have such users of the download, you can uncheck it. But if you feel no, you don't need the download section, then you can check it that as well. System error, memory, dumb file. We don't need it. Defender antivirus file. We don't need it. Microsoft driver packages, thumbnails, system error, Windows upgrade log file, delivery optimization file. I don't need all of them. I will select it and click on remove file and click on continue. And once it will be done, it says finish temporary file cleanup. Now you can go ahead and close it. And now we are only remaining with the final step where we have to assure that there is no temporary file in the Windows 10 or 11 background. So for that, right click on the Windows icon, click on run, type here temp that is the temporary file and it will list you all kind of file here so press ctrl a from your keyboard to select them all then press shift and the delete key to permanently delete all these temporary file and click on yes if it asks you for the permission check the box click on continue then check the box again and click on escape because it won't be able to delete all these files because many files they are still running in the background as we are using the different application like OBS, browser or any other kind of application. Next again right click on the windows icon click on run and here before the temp you have to add percent and after the temp also you have to add percent so it will be percent temp percent click on ok again here Press Ctrl A to select all, press Shift Delete and click on Yes. Check the box, click on Escape. Bingo. Alright, so now we are almost done. And now let's go back to this PC and see how much space we have free up. So earlier we had around 54 gigabyte, I guess, or 57. And now it's around 90 gigabyte. So approx 35 gigabyte of space we have free up here. And that really means a lot. I can free up some more that all depend that what all file I don't want to keep in my computer. So that's all guys for today and hopefully after applying all these steps you will have the enough space in your disk to proceed further to download anything or to install anything or enjoy the computer without any kind of problem. And if this video helped you guys make sure that you hit the like subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.